हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ जे एन टी एच इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड टॉपिक्स फॉर सेमेस्टर एंड एग्जाम्स हियर वी आर डिस्कसिंग करंटली इन दिस वीडियो अबाउट आर ट्वेंटी फाइव रेगुलेशन एंड द किम सब्जेक्ट इज इंजीनियरिंग chemistry okay i hope you are doing well with your exams and uh, hope uh, i will you will do uh, really better after watching these videos and uh, before starting this video i just want to tell you that uh, the questions appearing in this video may or may not appear in your semester end exam question paper the reason for making this question paper that this will act as a revision for all all the students kindly do not expect that only this questions will come in the exam prepare beyond if this question comes then that would be a bonus for you for in your preparation so treat is treat this video as a revision for your whatever you have prepared okay now coming to the video engineering chemistry r25 so now in the first segment we'll talk about uh, syllabus what we have for the syllabus okay so let me activate this and uh, right so what you first unit is about water and its treatment and then you have electrochemistry and corrosion so one question from electrochemistry and one question for from corrosion is compulsory in the exam okay now coming to unit 3 what do you have in unit 3 is energy sources in energy sources one you have batteries and another one you have fuel uh, so one question from this one question from this obviously it will appear in your exam and uh, also numerical problems only remember only unit 3 would have numerical problem most likely and uh, the other may not have so just check with that we'll talk about that in our video now unit 4 is about polymers uh, before moving further in this video i just want to tell you if you not like the uh, video please do like and uh, if you want to follow us on social media uh, just uh, link in this this link is there in description please do follow uh, now coming to polymers that's unit 4 and unit 5 is advanced function materials in advanced function materials you have smart uh, materials you have biosensors uh, and so on so this is your complete syllabus now coming to the exam pattern i think uh, you people have known already the part a will consist of 10 marks where you have you will have five short questions in which uh, that why you have to attempt compulsory one question from one unit and part b is for 50 marks and in this 50 marks you will have 10 marks each from one unit so it is quite simple now and also understandable i guess so just let me know how did you write your previous exam in the comment section so that i'll know how you are going well in your exam so first year exam please don't neglect it uh, because uh, you know these are the foundation exams and uh, if you fail here then there will be a lot of difficulties for you in the coming years where you cannot i have seen so many students who were not able to clear the first year subjects and cleared all the second third and fourth year and still struggling so please please don't take it lightly as these exams are really important now coming to tips to pass would you have three chapters to prepare perfectly for r25 you have two marks questions write that prepare write that well and also 1 2 3 4 5 that you have to follow so maximum attempt as many as possible and please present the answer sheet with neat handwriting your handwriting plays a really crucial role at least write three or four answers in good handwriting so that the one who is evaluating your paper will understand how good you are in the subject okay so now so whatever i have highlighted with this highlighter in yellow are the important topics for water and its treatment okay so now what is this potable water and its specification according to who who sorry who is world health organization and uh, they have given some steps and also you know specifications on how to use the water i mean like uh, and also defluoridization of nalgonda technique how defluoridization defluoridation happened in nalgonda and people were able to drink clean drinking water and also reverse osmosis what is reverse osmosis reverse osmosis is basically a technique when where you use uh, some methods to uh, purify the water i mean from hard water to soft water or drinkable water to purify it so these are all the important things and how the questions will be framed again from this that's a question right so these are the important questions okay these are the important questions from unit 1 so this kind of uh, this kind of uh, problem they might give 
you know depending upon hardness of water but in most of the cases you can ignore the problem if you want to just pass this learn all the theories and also some people in the comments are mentioning okay uh, anna we don't we didn't get the exact questions what you have given in this video or brother we have not received this uh, questions in the question paper so i just want to tell you that these questions are not guaranteed that these only this will come okay so some some people are asking you chalo tene pass ai pota no there is no guarantee that you know if you study these questions then definitely you will pass the, but this acts as a revision whatever you have revised try to uh, try to analyze these questions here these are the most important questions sometimes only this question may come sometimes this question may not come completely your question paper might be different so prepare accordingly prepare beyond prepare try to get more and more marks in these subjects because these subjects are inter based and you will be uh, more uh, you know you have, you will have more knowledge about these subjects rather than me okay and now coming to the important topics from unit 2 what are the important topics emf cell numerical problems one might be from emf cell and numerical problem and standard hydrogen electron we have seen uh, in the last few batches this standard hydrogen electron method is i uh, mean like repeatedly asked and you have types of corrosion what is galvanic corrosion what is water line water line and pitting corrosion then cathodic protection methods and then you have construction and working and determination of ph of unknown solution using c and calomel electrode so this is a process where you know you will uh, determine the ph solution or uh, ph uh, of unknown solutions so what is ph that's a number the it defines it defines the uh, nature of the liquid whether it is acidic or or i just want to ask you one question please let me know in the comments that what is the uh, ph of water what should be the ideal ph of a drinking water so please please if you have knowledge uh, then please do share uh, what is the actual ph of water okay now coming to important questions of unit 2 what we have nature of metal affecting the rate of corrosion causes and effects of corrosion galvanic and pitting corrosion so we need to explain this so now again an important thing whenever you for all these you will have diagrams right so diagrams draw it paper neatly with pencil don't use pen in between uh, label it label it neatly with pencil use pencil everywhere when it comes to diagram okay don't spoil the diagram by drawing with blue pen black pen or something like that carry a pencil for this exam okay that will really help you getting good marks so what is the principle involved in cathodic protection and how do you protect the buried pipelines by impress current method and one more thing if you want pdf of this important questions then uh, you know you can visit examuptt.com okay so that's our website what do you call exam okay exam u p okay so you can visit this website to get important questions sometimes if i have i am late in sending the video if i if i cannot send you the video then the pdf will be uploaded in this website only now also the engineering chemistry pdf or r25 is uploaded in this website so if you can or if you want to check please do check and also check with this so discuss the cathodic protection methods what are the sacrificial anode and uh, impressed current cathodic protection iccp that you call so you need to explain this or discuss this these these are would be for five marks uh, definitely five five marks you will get two questions okay now coming to energy sources what are the basic energy sources uh, so you need to understand what are working applications of zn air and lithium ion batteries so that i have given in the important questions thing and uh, yeah this one dolongs dolongs for dolongs formula numerical problem problem might come here and fischer stroh's process lpg cng composition and uses difference between battery and a fuel cell uh, what is the difference between battery and a construction see construction working and applications of zn air and lithium ion battery L uh, prepare both of this definitely you land into one i mean you will get one question in the exam okay so these are the important questions you can check construction working principle of lithium ion battery and uh, you direct methyl fuel cell hcv and ncv uh, so let me know in the comments uh, what is the full form of hcv and lcv derive the relationship uh, between them using dolong's formula so what is hcv and the uh, in between what is the relationship for this fischer tops uh, process so if if he asks for two marks then write just the process and if you are if he asks for five marks then please do explain okay 
uh, state the composition and industrial use of LPG and CNG. Where is LPG used? Where is CNG used? For example, uh, it is used in domestic purpose. It is used in uh, for transportation systems. Okay, so this is the one basic example I have given you. And uh, you can also uh, give the composition how LPG is composed and how CNG is composed. Now coming to the unit 4. What is unit 4? Polymers. Polymers in the sense you might have heard this uh, so many times that those are plastic, uh, elastomers and fibers where you have PVC, PVC pipes you have heard right? Nylon 6x6 or 6x6 or uh, Buna S. Uh, so these are all the polymers and uh, polyactic and its application trans polyacrylene uh, applications conducting so these are the important topics in this okay so please please uh, be ready with this uh, just understand this okay now coming to the unit 4 what do you have so these are the p type and n type conducting polynom poly polymers and uh, then you have discussed the preparation properties and applications of pvc nylon h66 then you have stated the importance of biodegra biodegradable polymers what are the fiber reinforcement plastics mention the engineering advantage discuss the synthesis and medical applications of polyactic acid okay so these are the important from unit 5 what do you have from unit 5 classifications with examples shape memorialize nitinol uh, and uh, physioelectric materials and then you have pollution under control puc co co sensor carbon dioxide sensor or carbon oxide sensor so please uh, let me know in comments passive infrared detection how that uh, co sensor detects okay that's the question and also tumor detection in medical applications so how how a tumor is detected in using uh, this techniques and now come to the important questions so these are the important questions you can check so what you have how describe the construction and working of an ampermetric glucose monitor sensor okay and uh, so these are so again from puc you will have this pollution under control and then raman raman spectroscopy so uh, see in the exam the questions again i'm telling you they will not be exactly the same whatever i am giving here he might ask in an indirect way for example discuss the application of infrared spe spectroscopy uh, so in in exam he might ask how the infrared spectroscopy in night vision security systems works can you explain in detail so this is the kind of a question he might ask you in the exam so that would become uh, contradicting that uh, you will feel that these questions have not come but if you revise all these things the topics here then definitely you will cover everything from five units so don't need to worry about that you can write uh, properly with uh, all the headlines uh, sorry side headings so Please, please do. And if you want PDF of this important questions, it is given right below the description. Just go there, click on the link uh, where uh, it is said that to download PDF. Click here. So download the PDF from examupdt.com uh, where we have uh, put it that for free. You can just go download, keep it with you while you are preparing for your exam. And how short question. So part A, because we didn't have here uh, for every video we post. Uh, previous question paper as r25 is the first batch uh, so we didn't have any previous question paper so we are posting a model paper for part a so this is how part a would look like uh, so just uh, feel free you know if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments as the exam time is approaching and it is crucial for you if you have any doubts you have to ask definitely and i'll definitely reply for that and uh, please 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 do subscribe to this uh, video like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next video and if you are not uh, subscribed please do subscribe and share this video among your college group so that every student will be benefited with you thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye